All right, let's go ahead and get started. So again, hello to everyone, and we welcome you to today's webinar presentation titled WOPI Pros and Cons of Using Standards for Office Integration, brought to you by Only Office. I would like to introduce you to today's presenter, Alex Mikev, who is the Head of Professional Services at Only Office. Alex has wide experience in open source software maintenance, deployment, and integration, as well as in tech support and working with users directly. He participated in various IT events and conferences in Europe and held multiple presentations and workshops. At this time, I'd like to pass it off to Alex for his presentation. So, hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex. I'm responsible for the technical services and professional services at OnlyOffice. And today I would like to share with you our experience of implementing WO API, as well as its pros and contours for office integration. So, actually, what is WOPA? WOPA stands for Web Application Open Platform Interface. So it is a REST-based protocol that defines a set of operations that enables a client to access and change files stored by a server. So this allows the client to render files and provide file editing functionality for files stored by the server. So the diagram you can see on my screen so it shows an example of how a client might use WOPI for providing a browser-based viewer for a specific type of file. That client uses VOPI, so WOPI, to get the contents of the file to present that content to the user as a web page in a browser. So what is VOPI? WOPI was first released by Microsoft in January, I guess, 12, and is used by them to integrate Office Online with other Microsoft solutions like SharePoint, Exchange, Skype for Business. So, as we see, WOPI is connected with Microsoft, so we understand that the protocol was primarily intended to support Microsoft Office formats. Since its release, the WOPI protocol has been adopted by many applications outside of Microsoft and many content management systems like FileCloud, NextCloud, OwnCloud, and different other clouds. So, implemented WOPI to integrate Office Online and so to extend their functionality with document processing. So, among Office suites, that can be embedded using WOPI, except for Microsoft, of course, are also Collabora and OnlyOffice Docs. So, and we need to mention that Office apps can be implemented in several ways. So, not only using WOPI, as for example, Collabora, but also using its own methods of API like Zoho, which provides Zoho Office integration that embeds editor in iframes, so post message APIs help communicate between web app and iframe. But only Office supports both options, and a bit later I will explain the difference between them. And for now, let me briefly introduce our solution so that you have a better understanding of what we are speaking about. So, what is only Office editors. Only Office comprises powerful online editors for text documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. Office Open XML was chosen as as a core format, core file format. So, and Only Office can be deployed on any platform and on any device. Important is that OnlyOffice has a single engine for online, mobile, and desktop versions. This guarantees seamless switch from offline to online mode, and vice versa, of course. JavaScript, 
has been chosen as one of the most universal web programming languages. And for server side, we use Node.js. Only Office is already integrated in more than 30 well-known and widely used platforms. So you can see some of them. And it is embedded in more than 200 web services by various developers worldwide. Only Office is available in various distribution formats and packages such as DEP, RPM, Docker, Snap, Univention Corporate Server, CloudOn, Amazon Image, Kubernetes are also supported. And Only Office is distributed under AGPA license. So the source code repos are available on GitHub. Feel free to visit it. Why only Office? So high quality document processing is really a top priority for our project. And all the highlights that you can see on the screen, such as expert level editing functionality, customization, maximum compatibility with Microsoft Office formats, seamless document collaboration, so advanced security and several, several others. Let us build reliable editing software. So, only Office provides users with comprehensive tool set organized in a tapped toolbar. Here you can find all types of editing and formatting tools, fully work with complex objects and make use of such features as table of contents, bookmark, content controls, and many, many others. So you will also find many features for academic formatting and navigation, including footnotes and endnotes, table of contents, bookmarks, cross-references. So only Office Spreadsheet Editor allows you to easy and automate your calculations. So you can choose over 400 available functions and formulas, like table templates, analyze and filter data using pivot tables, slicers, spark lines, conditional formatting, and more and more. So to automate common tasks, you can create, edit, and save your own macros using JavaScript language. With sheet views you can create a filter that only changes your view of the data without affecting your collaborators so it really helps when you are working on big spreadsheets together with only office presentation editor you can easily create rich and informative presentations using a wide selection of formatting tools objects style options and transitions. So with presenter view mode, you can add notes to highlight important parts of your speech and comfortably navigate through the presentation by switching to any desired slide with one simple click. And JavaScript makes it possible to extend functionality of only Office Docs by adding all possible plugins. So with plugins, users are able to edit images, highlight code syntax, translate texts, create bibliographies, get doc contained as HTML, and even chat in Telegram, you know. So actually, there are lots of plugin examples, and many developers and only Office users are experimenting with adding new plugins using examples, also available on our GitHub page. White label, white label option allows using only Office Docs under your corporate brand. So you can change the presence or absence of some buttons, links, replace logos, and editor owner details, of course. Further customization options include three interface themes, light classic, light and dark. So it allows you to comfortably work in low light environments so as well as multiple scaling options for comfortable work on small hdpi monitors so 
For developers, there are even more opportunities to adjust the editor interface using API, for example, to make compact header or hide the right side menu on first loading. Only Office native formats are Office Open XML. So this helps reach maximum compatibility with most of the world's documents, which are stored in DOCX, XLSX, and PPTX, and avoid the issues by format conversion. So, along with Office Open XML formats, in Only Office you can work with all other popular file formats, including ODF, PDF, TXT, RTF, CSV, etc. And if we are talking about integrated solution, when you use only Office Docs within other platforms, here we make your work with open document format easier via the integration app settings. So if you would like to open ODT on ODS, for example, directly for editing you can just check it in the settings and all these files will be automatically converted by opening and saving again so only office docs provides multiple features for seamless and effective collaborative work real time and paragraph locking co-editing modes review and track changes commands and mentions, built-in chat and telegram client, document comparison and version history, of course. You can share your documents with a single user or the whole team providing them with different permission levels to protect specific data, for example, from unwanted attention. When you share a doc, granting review, command or form filling, so permission. Uh, users can't actually edit that file, but only perform certain actions. With modify filter permission, it is possible to control if users will be able to apply their own filters without disturbing all other co-authors, or filter changes will be displayed for every co-author. What's important while working on the same document on the same server, each user can activate any feature or choose any mode independently of all other users. So, for example, there are three users editing the same document simultaneously. The first user is working with a chat. The second is using the track changes mode and the third one is writing a command. But nobody is disturbed this freedom of editing for each user is achieved since document processing was moved to the client side data security is of course a crucial question for everyone who works with the documents online so the source code of our solution is open for everyone to examine and you can launch on the office on your own private network to get full control over your data. So, HTTPS protocol encrypts your traffic. JSON web token protects documents from unauthorized access. It's also possible to restrict copying, downloading, and printing, enable watermarking, password protection, and electronic signatures. And moreover, we provide end to end encrypted document editing and collaboration in form of private rooms where every symbol you type is encrypted using the unbreakable AES-256 algorithm. Speaking about only office architecture, document processing is performed on the client side. That allows decreasing the server loading, only file opening and conversion, so closing the file, are performed on the server side. If providing you with some numbers, our experience showed that one only Office document server with four CPU, uh, eight gigs of memory and eight gigs of swap, so is enough for 1,000 simultaneously edited 
documents. So the test script assumes that every four seconds changes are made to all documents. 250 changes per second for 1000 connections. So that's a very great number. Every 60 second, 10% of connections are closed and documents are sent to the server for converting and building the file. So this means 100 closed connections for 1000 of them. So the same number of new connections are being created. And during one hour of testing, so 6,000 documents were sent for converting and building. Only Office provides open API that exposes the functionality of the platform, describes the main methods that allow you to interact with different Only Office components, thus giving other developers programmatic access to it. One of our API sections allows integrating online editors in various productivity solutions so, and content management applications. This in turn allows users to create, open, edit and co-author their documents right within a platform they use. Integration of only Office Docs document server with third-party SyncShare services requires an additional translator, so agent for establishing the data stream. This role is played by a connector. We create connections ourselves or help our partners to do this. So using the API of both solutions, the integration app converts data such as information about file formats, owners, dates, location, and so on. So requests information about users and the access rights they have. Processes commands for actions with files such as conversion using handlers. So and signs various requests such as ones for JSON web token. So on the user side, the integration application adds the following components. Configuration unit, settings directory, which allows setting up the connection with only Office document server and define editor parameters. So editor page itself, buttons and handlers for operation with files. And now, what issues we wanted to solve by implementing WAPI. So why we decided to implement WAPI when we have our own API for integration? So that's a good question. First of all, we got several requests from big integrators who prefer well-known WAPI protocol for integrating the editors into their solutions. For them, it's much easier to embed our editors using WAPI since they have already worked with it. And so it will take them less time than mastering our API, yeah. And second reason is that some document management systems just don't allow building a connector using our API due to some technical restrictions and the architecture of their apps. So, and what we have for now, in the end of August, we released the version 6.4 of only Office Docs with WAPI support. In this release, we came to the result that for now, we already can connect only Office Docs to any DMS, which provides universal WAPI client connector. So the most bright example of it is SharePoint, which has a built-in WAPI functionality. So users are able to easily connect our editors to SharePoint over WAPI in a few steps through the SharePoint management shell console. And now about difficulties. So. At the same time, we discovered several 
troubles, several difficulties, which arise when integrating our editors to SharePoint using Wopi. First of all, Wopi doesn't allow implementing action buttons like edit in only Office in the front end. So that's very important for us. Then uh, there can be issues with, with uh, file formats since not all of them are supported by Wopi protocol, but it's not that bad and we can't improve the situation. So as for collaborative work, Wopi doesn't allow users to switch between the two co-editing modes available in non Office. I will show you a little bit later what does it mean. So. And WAPI integration doesn't support some specific features, very important for us features, version history, mail merge, inserting images from storage, and comparison with a document from storage. So all these features will be not available in this case when you use WAPI. Taken into consideration, all we have said before, I can sum up our experience and results of implementing Wopi. So for now, only Office Docs can be connected to any document management system, so which has a universal Wopi client. But at the same time, despite Wopi standardizes the integration process, each platform requires its own Wopi connector. Since there are almost no systems with universal WAPI clients. So, WAPI is not a complete alternative to our integration API because WAPI protocol doesn't support some formats, some features, and some collaboration compatibilities provided by only Office products. So, we will continue to develop WAPI integration for only Office docs so that even more users could have an opportunity to integrate our editors. So we'll be really glad to get your feedback on this. If you are now seeking for a document editing tool for your own solution, sir, you can try our only Office Docs Developer Edition. It can be smoothly integrated into any web solution no matter what deployment model you use. So software as a service on premises, no matter what programming language your application is written. So, and of course, you're welcome to visit our official page on GitHub and check the source code of all the only Office components. You can scan QR code or here is the link to our page. So. You're welcome. So uh, thank you a lot for your attention and you're always welcome with any questions. Now I would like to switch to the second part of my presentation. So, and I would like to show you the differences between the Wobby connector and the connector written by OnlyOffice team, written using native OnlyOffice API. So, just to see how that will look like, so in real life. I'm going to use OwnCloud as one of the platforms that we used to use uh, for adding some new features for testing. So I guess the native on the Office API connector for own cloud so includes enough features to show you the difference between native on the Office API and Wopi. So first of all, I'd like to show you how easy can the only Office connector be installed and activated by the administrator, so by anyone. So we need to go to settings.
And here we can see that there are two different connectors. So marked as only office. This one is our native only office, and the second one is only office WAPI version 1.0.0. So just to show you how that how that works. So uh, default uh, only office connector for own cloud can be found in the default own cloud apps. So it is already pre-installed. And the test version of that WAPI connector so can be downloaded from our GitHub page. This is public repo, so feel free to test it if you would like to, of course. So the installation of that test application is very quick and easy. So we are in a brand new on cloud. So you can see that we do not have any create new option. So we are not able to open any file using any Office editor installed here. And now we are going to install so one of the products. Again to settings, apps, so and show disabled apps. And let's start with native only office product. So it is already enabled now. So So uh, now, as soon as we enable on the office application, we should configure the connection to the document server. So and the connector itself. So let's go to the administration panel. So additional settings, and here you can see that address of the document server. So the first thing you need. So you need your document server to be installed. So this one is installed somewhere in the cloud. It can be installed actually anywhere. So, uh, you know, I said already that almost all possible ways to install the product are supported. So here we use Docker, I think. We are able to go to that address. And what we see here, so that's, so we call it, Test example. Test example. Uh, I'm opening that test example, and what is it? That's a web service written in Node.js. So, and everyone who installed Document Server on his machine can open it and test our editors. So, we also have examples written in other languages. They these examples, I mean, may be useful if you are going to integrate the document editing service into your PHP, Python, Ruby application. So using that example, you can see how your documents will be displayed, for example, on a mobile device, so, or an embedded view. All examples can be downloaded from api.onlyoffice.com. So, but we do not, of course, recommend to use them for your production environment. So, once again, what we need here, what we need in the settings of connection to OnlyOffice, we need the address of the document server, and we need this secret key. What is it? So that's a secret part from the config file that will be used when forming a JSON web token. So a token that we use for signing all requests between your document management system and our only office documents. So that's what we call secret. You see, that's a secret named secret. So uh that is necessary to protect your 
on the Office instance from unauthorized access and JSON Web Token does it. So no one is able to use your server, for example, use your web converter. So yeah, we have web builder so included into only office document server so that can be used just for converting your files you can send any file to the document server and get back uh, a new file already converted in any format so you are able to connect your document server to many instances of absolutely different dms so all users of these systems will be able to use it. I mean, editors. So there are also few settings available here. You are able to grant access to the editors for specific groups only. Here you can see that only members of admin group are able to use editors. So if you are member of guests, you are not allowed to use only office editors. So there are also few settings available here. You are able to, for example, um, to set the only office editors as a default editor for opening the specific file types. For example, here we have chosen docx and odt. So now go back to the main page of own cloud and we can see that here we are able to create a new document here is it so a new document has been created and what's very important if you as i said already so have ODT files. So you are also able to open these files. What happens if you open ODT file? So you have that file converted to docx in the background and then you work with docx file. So as soon as your editing process is completed, so you close the editing session and the file will be converted back to ODT format. So now let me show you some features which are currently not supported by WAPI, by that protocol, if you use it for only office integration. So uh, here I have a few files. So I have created them to show you the cases with different access rights, for example, available when using only Office native API. So the first one, sharing your documents. You are able to share your documents with different access rights. For example, I'm opening a document with full access. So I'm able to do anything in this document, absolutely anything. The second one, of course, that's read-only file. I'm not able to do anything, so I'm not allowed to edit the document. So that's all. Now to the most interesting types. Commands. What is commands? So here is it. You know, I'm not allowed to edit that file, but I'm allowed to leave my commands. Here is it. You know, here is a command posted by Anonymous. Yeah, it's me. Next one. 
review. You know, if you work with your documents online, if you share your documents, you know what's review. All changes, so which are made in the document, they should be accepted or they should be rejected. So you can see. And the owner of the file, so is able to reject or accept any changes I've made. And the last but not least, that's a brilliant permission level form filling. That's a unique feature, a killer feature of only Office editors, I think. So, for example, this is protected part of the document. I'm not able to do anything here. So, and one more thing, uh, in one of the next versions, we plan to, so to add option to hide that section of the document. So, and here in that section, I'm able to add my text. So that's how it works. This section is protected again. So I'm not able to do anything. If you would like, for example, to share with your, I don't know, with your teammates or a file with only single section that should be edited. So feel free to use that access right, that form filling permission level provided by only Office documents. So, and one more thing, for example, if I'm working on a document, so if I'm working on the document in core editing mode, so I can do that with my colleagues. So if anyone will be in the same document, I will see online what's happening. I will see any changes, but, if I don't like to be disturbed, so I can switch to strict co-editing mode. So what does it mean? It means that if anyone is in the same document, so he is able to so to edit the document, but the changes will be shown to me only if I click on save or switch to fast mode. So that's a very interesting feature available in our editors. And all of these options can be implemented into your DMS or any other web service. So if you use only Office native API, so the information about all available permission, permission levels, so can be found on our API page at api.onlyoffice.com. The next point that I'm sure it should be very interesting for everyone who is working on documents, so online, is versioning. So here we at on the office created a brilliant feature for storing and displaying the versions of the documents. Now I will show you how that works. So here is my document and this document has been changed a few times. I'm going to version history and I'm able to see all versions. So this one is a brand new file, so absolutely empty. Then some administrator so has written something. Then version number two has been created. Version number three, four, as you can see, some changes, some data has been removed. And then a new user in the same document has changed the document. So you can see that all users so are marked with different colors and you can see which changes 
have been applied by so what user so let's go back to the own cloud settings menu go to apps and disable native native only office api connector so go to the disabled apps and enable wopi connector what's very interesting at the moment we do not even have any settings page so an admin page for this wopi connector so all the changes have been applied to their own cloud config files and we are not allowed to restrict the users by some users or some groups we are also not allowed to set default file types for opening and editing so i'm not trying to say that we are not going to continue working on wopi integration but the question is if we need to force that or to keep the main integrations so and we have at the moment more than 15 so 15 integrations uh, with native only office connectors written by only office team only team not third-party developers so but once again this wopi connector it works we are able to click on that file and open that file that's all this is the only option available at the moment opening the file in wopi connector so thank you thank you for watching and thank you for your time of course so if you have any questions feel free i'm ready to answer any Awesome. Thank you, Alex, for your presentation. We do have a few questions for you. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started on those. And the first question is, what dependencies does your document server have? Uh, so talking about dependencies, we use uh, Postgres as a database. So we have Rabbit. MQ, so uh, we have Redis, and you need to use your storage for storing your cache. So that's all. Actually, if you use Docker, so uh, we already have uh, so configured everything. So if you would like to use Kubernetes, so you also are welcome to use your external services. So database. Uh, Redis and Revit can be used as external services, so you are not forced to install them on your instance, on your server. So, that is. Okay, that's great to know. Moving on to our second question here, um, and that reads, how many resources do I need for a team with approximately 100 users? You know, uh, 100 users is i guess it's a small team and you don't need so huge server to handle these 100 users i guess two cores cpu and six gigs of memory so would be enough absolutely enough so you don't need a lot of money to so to host such server. That's promising, thank you. And then it appears like our last question here for you today, Alex, is if someone would like to try your product but they don't wanna install it, is there any public service available for, for developers? Oh, that's a good question, yeah. Uh, at the moment, so, Oh, we do not have uh, such service on our side. So, but 
but right now we're working on such public document server that can be used by so any developer by any user worldwide so just contact us so at support at onlyoffice.com maybe sales at onlyoffice.com and we are able to give you such server such service yeah. without without installation so you won't need to install anything in your environment so you just will need to connect to public available service yeah we do have it all right good to know and it looks like we've gone through all of our questions here so with that dzone would like to thank you alex for a phenomenal presentation so thank you thank you dzone would also like to thank only office for providing the audience with a great webinar lastly thank you to everyone who attended today we hope you learned something new that will help you in your developer career have a great day